Hello, good people. Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I just lugged all my bags. Y'all know these bags. I'm on the train, off the train, into the car, up the stairs, up more stairs. But I finally made it to I will be officially laying my head while I am a ORD based flight attendant. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I've told y'all. But when my father first moved here from Jamaica, he moved to Chicago, um, laid some seeds here, okay? My grandpa was here, got, so anyways, I got family in Chicago on my dad's side, which is good because I'm not nearly as close with them as I am as my mom's side. So this is an opportunity to spend more time with them. But anyways, my cousin Lisa, was kind enough to let me stay with her she just moved into this new apartment and she has two bedrooms and it's just her so what does that mean <laughs> i get this second bedroom to all to myself at least while i'm here for the little while that i'm here so that i am beyond grateful for and she lives in a great great area she said this is um called linking park let me put this down, I'm tired. She said it's called Lincoln Park. Um, and the only reason I'm calling it a great area is because while we were driving down the street, um, very close to her apartment, all the stores that I love, you know, and grocery stores and everything within walking distance so I can just hop on the bus and a two minute ride down the street. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Hi, babe. <clears throat> okay, I forgot I was vlogging. I got a phone call, talked on the phone, talked to my cousin, ate some chicken tacos. <laughs> Anyways, what was I telling y'all? Um, yeah, on the way here, the area is nice. All the stores that I love past the Sephora. Y'all already know if y'all been with me since my day ones, y'all know I love a Sephora. And there's Zara like two miles away wait <laughs> yes lord so <clears throat> yeah i'm happy to be here it's a comfortable setting lisa's real chill she's a nurse um she's working nights right now and she, i think she's gonna be switching to days but that's neither here nor there um so yeah what i'm gonna do i have my dang on rollerboard down here i need to unpack and then take out like this thing I'm surprised this is it the aim bus with all the clothes that I have in here it's really a lot of clothes but it's mostly my uniforms they're just bulky I don't even gonna be wearing a lot of those yesterday at base I got lucky um we had base tour yesterday like I told y'all and we weren't in our crew room we were in mainline americans crew room and so they let me go through like this little closet where they have a stash of uniforms like extra pieces that i guess people gave back or don't want i don't know whatever but i found a little a sh button up shirt or something that i can wear with one of the skirts that my instructors gave me so i was really happy about that um but yeah, y'all, that's really it. I'm just gonna unpack, pack, get packed for my four day. I could really pack for my four day tomorrow in the morning. I might just kind of relax um, because my trip is at 3.25 p.m. and we have to report an hour before our trips <clears throat> start. So that's different. You know, <laughs> that's, that, that part's a little different in my previous airline and you know I know during my training vlogs I kept saying that I wasn't really going to make it like a comparison type thing because I'm not really going to compare but I do I mean I'm not I'm, I don't know I do kind of want y'all to see just like the differences between airlines so I might just go into details with like some things that may be major they may not be but you know just just to share knowledge that's what my channel is all about, sharing knowledge and motivating y'all. 
So <clears throat> with JetBlue, we had a report time, of course, and of course it was before the flight, but depending on the aircraft was how much time you had to report before. So it was either like 30, 40, or 50 minutes, and it would actually have our report time on our schedule, what time we had to be there. Here, it just shows you what time the flight departs, and every flight you have to be there an hour before. You have to check in at the airport an hour before, but you actually have to be at the gate 40 minutes before to do your pre-flight and pre-checks and all of that, and then boarding starts 30 minutes prior to departure time. So I just have to, I mean, that's not hard to remember, just whatever, you know, just little, little differences here and there that, you know, airlines, they all function differently. That was the purpose of me saying that. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. So we're gonna test Chicago out. Word on the street is, is that we really should be getting our Dallas transfers um, for the month of October. So I will be here all of September at least. Um, but I should find out about my transfer <clears throat> if I've been awarding it, uh, if I've been awarded it, I believe August 24th or August 25th. So that's just what, like in two weeks or so, I should know so I can just really figure out what I'm gonna do. Well, I mean, there's not really no figuring out what I'm gonna do. If I gotta be here, I just gotta be here. That's, <laughs> that's it, but the transfer is in, so I just have to wait for it to get approved and um, enjoy my time in Chicago until then. So, hip hip, all right. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow for the start of a four day. Y'all remember when I used to have four days and it was just one leg a day? Y'all remember those days? Those days are gone now. Hi guys, and welcome to my first day of actual flying. So, the battery is gonna die because I still haven't got a charger. Um, anyways, I am on the Embraer today, working all by myself. It's a 50 seater aircraft. You all can see that. I said today I'm on it all by myself for the next four days. The cleaners are still on. I got to the gate early just so I could, you know, make sure that I'm on top of things. Um, right now, I'm just checking my IPM because they're very specific about where we stow our um, our luggage on these aircrafts because of weight and balance. Um, so. I just want to make sure that I'm stowing my stuff where I'm supposed to be. And yeah, that's it. So I doubt that I'll be able to vlog much. I'm going to Cincinnati, then I think we do a Cincinnati turn and then to Miami or Miami. I'm gonna lie, I don't know, I'll tell y'all later. But I just wanted to give y'all an update. Oh, with the lighting up. Just wanted to give y'all an update. I'm here, I'm on the aircraft, and I'm going to work. Talk to y'all. All right, good people. So, landed after my first solo flight. You know, went and checked my, my um, airline stuff schedule and just, you know, just trying to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And there's a change. So I was supposed to be going Orlando. Orlando. Good. Alexia. I was supposed to be going from where where Chicago. I keep calling Chicago Orlando because Chicago City Code is O R D. And for whatever reason. Of course I know Orlando City Code is M C O. Like that's where JetBlue training is. I clearly know that. But I just keep saying it in my whatever. Anyways. So I was supposed to be going from Chicago to Cincinnati, Cincinnati to Miami, and then I was gonna go Miami to Richmond, Virginia. Um, while I land here, get my internet back popping, and check my schedule, and then my last flight of the day is gone, and it says I'm ending in Miami, so I was a little confused. Um, because before, I was used to cruise services like 
crew services, crew scheduling, sending you a notification or even calling and leaving a voicemail if changes are made, you know, on your sequences, appearance, your schedule, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I asked my first officer, I was like, uh, they're not going to call me? Like, they're, they're not going to tell me? Like, what if I didn't check? You know, like, so he was like, yeah. He was like, no, they're not going to call. <laughs> So I was like, all right, well, you know, cool. So I was like, so we leaving? You know, cause it was supposed to be just a little 28 minutes on the ground, deep plane, turn the aircraft, leave again. But now we have a delay and we're supposed to be delayed like two hours. I don't want to say it too loud. Cause I don't know if the people, the people back there, I don't know if they know yet, but cause the board still says 6.30 and from what I know, we're not leaving at 6.30. So, yeah, so I just went and got me some Chick-fil-A, then eat that, then we get to Miami tonight, and I get a layover in Miami, which sounds like a really good time, but I'm by myself, <laughs> which is, yeah, I mean, y'all know, y'all know, I don't have any issues going out venturing by myself at all, but... I don't even have a swimsuit, like, not prepared for a Miami layover. I was going to Richmond, Virginia, and I have no idea what there is to do in Richmond, Virginia. I'm sure it'll come up another time and I'll get to enjoy it, but tonight we going to Miami. I'm probably just gonna be a bum and hopefully edit a vlog for y'all. I haven't even started editing my training vlogs yet, so I need to get to working on that. So maybe that's what I'll do. So y'all can start seeing what I've been doing. Anyways, that's all the update I got. Talk later. Well, welcome to Miami. It is like 11.20, 11.30 p.m. So that delay that we had from Cincinnati to here ended up being like almost three and a half hours. <sighs> so yeah, just got to Miami. They got me a hotel. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. I think I have like a 12 hour layover. Nothing serious. Um, then I did head somewhere tomorrow. Oh, to New York, to LaGuardia. So this is the first time for me to be in Miami airport in a long time, you guys. As you know, JetBlue flew into Fort Lauderdale. And I had never had any reasons to fly into Miami. So I really don't think I've been here my adulthood I want to say yeah maybe like way way back in the day when I was a child flying from Fort Lauderdale Miami to Jamaica and that was a long time ago so interesting airport yeah that's all I got for y'all tonight my hand hurt bags heavy my body's still getting used to being a flight attendant again <laughs> Just gotta get these ergonomics correct, right? Anyways, I'll show y'all the hotel when I get For the life of me, I do not understand. They put us up in these nice suites, or I don't know about nice, but suites, with full kitchens for layover. I got 10 hours here, but for training, they can't give me one of these? <sighs> Anyways, y'all, here's the door. <laughs> so, you, door. You walk in, you got your nice stainless steel appliances, full-size dishwasher, look nice deep undermounted sink. You got a little two cook cooktop stuff, oven thing, microwave, big old refrigerator, little table, living area, television, king size bed, <laughs> bathroom. I mean this is what I need for 31 days of training. Not a 10 hour layover. <laughs> I'm not complaining though, y'all. I'm just, is the word facetious? I'm just being facetious. Is that the correct word to use? <sighs> but what I can tell, oh, sweet Jesus. Battery about to die. This is going to be the end of camera vlogging until, oh. Oh, I need to pay my car insurance. 
it's the 15th <laughs> tell me do y'all do automatic um, withdrawals for y'all bills some of my bills I do and then some of them I don't and my car insurance is not one of them but it's due today so let me go ahead and pay that thing right now um, while I'm thinking about it anyways so I'm here have a deadhead tomorrow to LaGuardia at 12 23 or something so it's just a deadhead so I don't know I don't yeah I'm gonna get to the airport before that get on the flight um then I have another late night tomorrow I believe um sidetrack from paying the bill let me tell y'all what I do tomorrow yeah, I'm definitely not doing anything tonight why do I look blurry am I blurry y'all or is it is it the lens I don't, I don't. Anyways, Miami to LaGuardia, 12:23. Then I have a two and a half hour um, sit at LaGuardia. Then I do LaGuardia to Charlottesville. Then Charlottesville to Charlotte. Then Charlotte to SGF. I still don't know what that is. So I have four flights and I'm working three. So I end my night tomorrow night the same time I ended tonight. We're supposed to land in SGF at 2323. What airport code is SGF? I looked this up yesterday and I forgot. SGF airport. Um, Springfield. Springfield, Missouri. I don't think I've ever been to Missouri. Um, so yeah, Springfield, Missouri. I leave the next day at 3 p.m. So maybe I'll get out and venture and see if I can find something good to eat. Um, yeah. Anyways, battery's about to die. I'll holler. Good night. Good night. <laughs> right in through KCM and there was the gate. I didn't even have time to go get a little food. I checked in, got my boarding pass, just grab some food, eat, take a nap on the plane. I upgraded to first class for the deadhead, which is beautiful. Thank God. Because I was cramped back there. See y'all in New York. Made it to LaGuardia, y'all. In this up and coming new B terminal. The air train is coming to LaGuardia. That's what I needed when I was based in New York. But whatever, I shall not complain. Let me go try to find this gate in the crew room. All right, y'all, made it on board. It is 6.03 p.m. So it's a ground stop delay in LaGuardia. Um, so we're delayed a little bit, but you know what That's the same plane, this is the Embraer 140. It's just the galleys are flopped in there. So Six less seats, 44 passengers on this aircraft. The 145 has 50. Um, yeah, so now the pilots, they seem great. Let's go. Hey, y'all. I don't know what time it is, but it's late. I think when was the last time I updated y'all? We had like a two and a half hour tarmac delay leaving New York LaGuardia. Then we did. Charlottesville to Charlotte and now they canceled my next flight so I'm done. All right y'all made it to the hotel finally. It's 12:53 um Charlotte time. <sighs> Crew scheduling has changed. Oh my lord this bag is heavy. I don't know what I have in here that has it like y'all hear that? Put y'all down. It's like 
in my stuff. Um, crew scheduling has changed my schedule like two and a half times since we've landed. So originally tonight I was supposed to be, after we got here, we were supposed to work the flight to Springfield, Missouri. And I was supposed to lay over in Springfield. So they canceled Springfield. So what they had me doing was deadheading tomorrow at like 1.30 p.m. to Springfield and then doing what I was originally signed to do. Springfield to somewhere and then somewhere to Champaign, Illinois. Um, now they've changed that again and now I have a 1045 show at the airport to, I don't know, I don't even know where we're going, but I work two flights, then I end up in LaGuardia, I deadhead from LaGuardia to back to here to Charlotte, and then I think I do Charlotte to Champaign, and I stay there tomorrow night. At least that's what it is for now. So, I'm just like, and then the crazy thing is, or the crazy thing, the thing that I need to get used to is checking my schedule, like, quite often because they change it and then they don't even notify you. Like, not one notification came through, a buzz, a phone call. The only phone call I got tonight was after we, um landed here and she called to tell me that the flight was canceled and i was like yeah i know that but you changing my whole schedule for tomorrow like what if i was asleep already like what if we didn't have that long wait sorry y'all what if we didn't have that long wait for the hotel van i'm benton to y'all just don't don't mind me but i'm benton this is what you get to look forward to when uh you do you become this this job here so we had to wait quite a while for our hotel van. Well, first of all, once we landed, we had to wait, like, I want to say almost 30 minutes for them to assign us a hotel, right? And then once we figured out which hotel, it took like another 30 minutes. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it took another long time for the hotel shuttle to get here. So if those extended periods of time didn't happen and I was already in my bed sleep, and planned, you know, had it in my brain that I was working tomorrow at 1.30 and they changed my schedule and they don't even send me a notification. It's like, dang, what if I would have overslept? Well, not, you know, like, I'm just, I just, thoughts. Like, what if I would have checked my schedule and I would have still been thinking, you know, well, they assigned, she called me and told me my trip tomorrow is at 1.30, so I should be good. Thank God I checked it. I guess that's, that's all I can really say about that, y'all. I'm looking for my pajamas. I'm irritated that I have on makeup. Because um, now I have to spend time to take this crap off. So, that's all I got. That's all she wrote. Good night, good people. See y'all tomorrow. Or actually just. My makeup still looks actually really good though, other than these little breakouts that's neither here nor there. I'm just a little oily, but that's normal, right? Anyways, good night. Good morning, lovely people. How goes it? It is day three of a four day, which this feels like it's been the longest four day of my life or <laughs> new aviation life because clearly it is. It's my first four day and they have been just bouncing me all over the place, it feels like. Um, so I woke up this morning, checked my schedule. Still the same as it was last night. And luckily I woke up early, just, I don't know how to sleep in. It's an issue of mine. Um, but I woke up, bid for my September schedule. Still haven't ate my salad since yesterday. Um, maybe I'll find some time to eat it today. Um, 
I'm hungry though. Um, but I woke up, did some stuff, and I was trying to give myself enough time to either eat my salad or go downstairs and have breakfast. But then once I got out the shower, I found this little lovely note slid from under my doors from my captain saying he gave us the wrong schedule time. So we got to be out of here 30 minutes earlier. So luckily I was up early. That would have been a, 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 um, but yeah, so two legs, dead head, then one more leg. And then tomorrow, please, Jesus, I'm just supposed to have one leg back to base tomorrow. Please, baby Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of bouncing around, y'all. Um, anyways, just wanted to give y'all a little morning check-in. I got my, my Black Girl Magic pin on this morning and my, my little face. Wings. Name badge. Oh, I need to put my scarf on. Take my, uh, my wave cap off. And carry on about my day. Good morning. Or, hey. <laughs> so, landed on the aircraft. Just did my pre flight checks. Um, emergency equipment checks. Now I'm in the galley checking to make sure we have everything. And we have FAA on board with us today. That's cute. I think he's going to be up in the jump seat in the flight deck. But. That's my first time. I've never had FAA on any of my flights in previous experience. Um, so I always cross my T's and dot my I's. Did I say that backward? Dot my I's and cross my T's. Um, but I'm really, really dot my I's and crossing my T's today because <laughs> you never know. You know, they might want to come and ask me some questions and double check my checks and God knows what. And I still haven't figured out how to use this CD player thing. We use these little CD players, huh? like legit CD player, to play our, uh, oh yeah, CD player, to play our boarding music and announcements and stuff. But, oh, there we go. Press this little button to get to what I need. And then, I think it's, how do I move tracks? Okay, track 33. For boarding music that I do like the board well I don't necessarily like the music but I like that we have the option to play boarding music all right y'all I'm still going I just landed in LaGuardia about 15 20 minutes ago I had to run down to the in-flight office which is like not a rundown it's more like a 10 mile hike I'm trying to make my way out of here but I think I'm lost Anyways, the people in the office out here are so, so nice, nice ladies. Too bad I'm not based here. Well, not too bad. I'm over that New York life. Can I come through this door? I don't think so. Oh, this right here. Anyways, I need to make another hike to go catch my, um, my deadhead to, where am I going? I think I'm going back to Charlotte, where I woke up at this morning. I'm dead heading back there, and then I work, I think I have an hour and a half sit or something, if we're not delayed. And then I work one flight to Champaign, Illinois. Then I'm done. All right, y'all. Made it back to Charlotte, where I woke up at this morning. Like, our flight was not delayed, got here early sat waiting for a gate and we still early early so i haven't had some warm food in a while so i'm gonna try to find me a little restaurant or something and sit down and eat and work this last fight that i'm done last fight of the day y'all ready to go i'm ready to go all right y'all made it to the hotel locked the door guess what else i got a whole nother kitchen <laughs> well, okay, this one doesn't actually have the stove top though. But nice microwave, a 
a little bacon thing in there. We got cups and stuff. Dishwasher. No tub. Just a stand-up shower. Nice big mirror. It's a little toilet. <laughs> and the room is actually cute too. Sitting area and the bed. And a TV. All right, y'all. Oh, where's the where's the light? I don't know. Is that any better? Let's sit this way. Okay. What time is it? It's 10, 10. 10, 10. 10, 10. So, I started my day. I don't know what time it is in North Carolina. Anyways, it's pretty much almost a 12-hour duty day. I think North Carolina is an hour there's 2311 in Charlotte so it's um, 2211 right now so yeah that is a 12 hour duty day for me with a total of four flights and I think I had about three and a half hours of sit time throughout the day so, yeah, <laughs> just a long day, y'all, just a long day, what you get to look forward to once y'all start flying, this is normal flight dinner life, I guess, or at least normal, what is this, what? why they got this big old orange curtain, I guess it's to separate the room so you can sleep peacefully over there and then party orange thing. This thing is ugly. <laughs> Sorry, it just distracted me. Anyways, Black Girl Magic Pen. I saw a few people staring at it. I just love the stares that this pen gets. Like, it just makes me laugh. Anyways, y'all, I'm just rambling. I talking about nothing. I'm going to bed. Good night. One flight tomorrow. So, oh wait, hold on. Um, our report time is at, our van time is at 6.05 tomorrow. So that gives me a good amount of time to actually get out of the hotel finally and do something. I can actually enjoy it. And the lady sitting in 1A was telling me that um, right now they are having taste of champagne. Because um, this town is called Champagne. It's a, um, it's a college town. Somebody's college is here. Illinois something. So, I might go check that out, or I just saw a few restaurants kind of around here where the hotel is. But I might want to go to taste the champagne and just kind of walk around and just get a vibe of the people and just, just get a, just just get out and do something. So, yeah, y'all can look forward to that tomorrow. Good morning. It is 8-11, but I've been up. Hmm, look, this didn't get washed right. Um, I've been up since like, I think I saw five some five like, early, like six o'clock basically. I went ahead and um, booked my commute flight home for in the morning because more than likely I will not make the last flight out tonight back to Houston. Excuse me. They're supposed to land at um, 8.20 and I think that flight leaves at like 8.30. So I booked my commute flight home for in the morning at like 6 o'clock and then I booked my commuter flight, I mean commuter flight, my uh, commuter hotel 
they uh, my company gives us four commuter hotels a month I'm pretty sure I've said this before and we can only use them like the day before like we fly in the day before we have an assignment or the last day of an assignment and we're gonna commute home or in the middle of our assignment so we're gonna take advantage of that and I'm just gonna make me some tea and go to the gym and my roommate is actually having to lay over here she gets here too so i'm gonna wait for her to not fall on Brittany. <laughs> um and see if she wants to like go grab some food or go to this little taste of champagne thing with me so check in with y'all later we just are in our hotel shopping center just trying to see what's out here to eat Small cakes, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a nice little breeze out here. It's not Tex Mex. We was gonna go to this Pancheros, like we was in Texas, about to hit up some Tex Mex, and we're not. And there's nobody in there, so. Also, that's a I have this 350. I'm gonna try to get back up there at 5.30. I'm already bathed, bag is packed. I just gotta put my uniform on. And I'll be good to go. Let's go find food. Oh, a baby store. We ended up going to a little, I guess it was a sports bar type of place. Nothing serious. A little snack. I'm really trying to be right and get back to this low carb life. I don't wanna say I'm going all the way keto because I don't know if I, I probably will, honestly, because I, I actually enjoy keto. It works well for me. Um, I just need to start grocery shopping and meal prepping again. But I had a steak and egg with some bell peppers burrito, and I didn't eat the, the burrito wrap. So I really just had steak and eggs and bell peppers with cheese and a side of broccoli. Oh, I did have a lemonade that I shouldn't have had, but it was tempting. But anyways, it is now 4.58. I have to be down for the shuttle at 6.05. I packed my bags and did all that stuff already. I just had to take these clothes off, put them in my bag, put my uniform on, and then I can happily roll up out of here. I should probably start doing that more often because my biggest delay to get into the shuttle on time, which I'm always on time, I'm just always rushing, is I have to pack my bag like... I don't know why I have the worst habit of just coming into the hotel room and throwing my stuff everywhere and then have to repack my whole bag again. So I'm really glad that I just I pre-did it so now I can just relax. One flight back to Chicago. Brittany said the flight is like less than 30 minutes. So hallelujah, Lord. I have to call to get released, which is also something different than JetBlue. Um... Like, on our reserve days, once we were done with the trip, there was no calling to get released. The only calls that would be made is crew scheduling would be calling us to extend us. I'm not going, like, I'm calling y'all to see if y'all still want me to work. No, like, you should call me. But anyways, we just have the call to get released. So, when I land tonight, I'll call to get released and then go to my commuter hotel. I booked it this morning. They had it ready for me, like, 20 minutes later. So, I'll catch the shuttle to there and go to bed and then wake up in the morning for my 6 55 a.m flight back to houston and i have real estate work to do um yeah so real estate definitely is my bread and butter so i need to, i'm really trying to um figure out how i'm gonna finesse this schedule so i'm off all of next week and we can actually pick up out of base here, which is really, really nice. So if I wanted to, I could pick up a trip out of Dallas, you know, maybe like a two or three day or something. And I believe they said if we pick up out of base, they will give us um, positive space travel to that base. So I need to figure that out before I really decide if I'm going to pick up or not. Um, and it really just depends on what my real estate schedule looks like for next week. Um, cause I got a new client off of YouTube, which is <laughs> very random, but that's, you know, that's kind of the purpose to, to, um, promote my business and stuff. She 
send me an email. I was like, I found you on YouTube. Um, I'm moving to Houston. You want to be my realtor? And I was like, sure, why not? And then, of course, I have other clients as well that are in Houston. So, God is good. Things are, are not exactly as planned, but I, I see them coming together. So, I feel good about where I'm at with things. Yes, 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 I do. Anyways, um... Yeah, let me stop rambling. I'm gonna take a little 20 minute snooze since I have time. Yeah. yeah. This dress, right? Like, one of my instructors in training was like, she feels like this dress looks like the what the hotel maids wear. And I was playing, I was like, it just, like, if I could put the scarf around here, like, just to cinch the waist in a little bit more, it would look so much better. I just need to get it um, taken in. So when I go home this week, I'm going to take it to get altered and um, just get it to be a little more snug so I can be snatched <laughs> and motivate me to lose some weight. <laughs> but um, anyways, I'm just in here playing around. I didn't really nap like I thought I would. I'm just ready to get back and be done. Um, I attempt to wear the scarf around my neck, but it gets hot, so, and, and ain't nobody got time for that, so let me just put the little scarf, um, around here, just tie it up and call it a day. Anyways, throw my shoes on, I'm wearing my socks, yep, I'm wearing them know how compliant they may be but I'm wearing them they're just like literally a quarter of an inch too high but they were a hundred dollars and they're comfortable so and then even on this aircraft like like literally as soon as I get on the aircraft before boarding starts oh my lip I um I kick those shoes off because that embryo that dark that embryo um yeah i'm too big we're just gonna do a gloss this is ysl Ooh, yeah go ahead do a quick little flight i don't have no makeup on but technically our airline prefers that we wear a little something what is this it looks silly our airline prefers that you know we at least do a little mascara lip I think they even say maybe blush but this is y'all are getting this today this is it so let's go so I'm sitting at the gate check the loads we only have two customers on the flight two. <laughs> so the captain just told me this but said we can we can leave 30 minutes early if we're ready to go, which means that I might be able to make this commute home to Houston tonight. Uh, I gotta call and get released. Well, Alexa, don't forget to call and get released. Yeah, let's see what happens, y'all. Y'all, I am maneuvering through this terminal, I'm trying to make it to the other side of the airport in 10 minutes. This is a big airport. Maybe I can make it home tonight. Alright, y'all, by the grace of God, made it on board. Got me a cute little first class seat. Needed some ice water to catch my breath. And the flight attendant that's working this flight, she's a September. <laughs> her name is Valerie. So we're going to put her on the vlog when she gets her beat together. Hey, y'all. I met Valerie. She's hey, a September. Hi. I walked on. She was like, Ashley, so 
could be. It could be. Anyways, I'm trying to talk her into moving. If, if, if I hang out with this lady, maybe, maybe. My life really is maybe, not that exciting. Maybe it'll rub off on me. It ain't me. nothing but fly, low flight, sell some real estate, and keep it moving. Well, she got that real estate thing going. <laughs> I don't have anything like that happening for me. All right, y'all. Almost there. Talk mm -hmm. to y'all later. Bye. Bye.